Hi friends, so you can use wireless desktop or wireless desktop light. So I am going to use wireless desktop trial version. So I am going to install it. Go to wireless.com and click on download free trial. Then then click on download now. Then save this file .dmg file. Then open this file. You can right click and select open. So in this window, double click on this install dot app icon or right click and select open. Then click on open so now it's installing files desktop accept license agreement click on accept then enter your admin password admin privilege is required to install files desktop in your system okay now it's starting files desktop Installation is completed. Okay. So by default, in the beginning, uh, you will get this window. So from here, you can install, you can create virtual machine. You can also right click on Palace desktop icon and select control center so there also you can see one plus button click on that that plus button is for create a new virtual machine so now here you can see if you scroll you can see install mac os 10.12.5 using recovery partition let me check the version of my host mac os system it's also same you can see the same version here so I am using macOS Shara 10.12.5. The same thing you can see here. Click on continue. Then click on install. Install from recovery partition. So now it's so here click on continue trial because I am using parallel desktop. If you are using parallel desktop uh, light that is free actually you don't need to you will not get that pop-up window so here is this is a location where it actually create this uh, pvm file parallel parallels desktop uh, parallels virtual machine disk file So if you go to the general there here you can see the location where it actually store this pvm file parallels virtual machine disk file okay now it's actually it's booting uh, you can see it's booting mac os so now So here in this macOS utilities window, you have to select reinstall macOS. Then click on continue. Then here click on continue again. Then click on continue. Now it's loading installation information. So here click on agree, then click on agree button. So here need to select the disk where you want to install macOS. So you can select, I'm going to select the uh, disk which is enabled. 
then click on install so you can see that in the left side you can see the size of the pbm disk file you can see that it's increasing the size so about 5 minutes remaining ok now it's uh, rebooting I think So here, so we need to select the location, then click on continue, then do not transfer any information now, click on continue. don't use uh, location service so enter your apple id and password here then click on continue then click on agree So store files from document and desktop in iCloud so I don't want that option so I'm selecting that click on continue so I don't want to share Mac analytics with Apple click on continue so now the installation almost completed okay done so this way we can create mac os booter machine in pulse desktop from a recovery partition so let me uh, check the now uh, version here click on this apple icon Go to about this apple so it's showing mac os share up 10.12.6 this is the version of mac os installed in this virtual machine so now let me check the mac os version of my uh, host system that also same because i created this virtual machine from the recovery partition we can see the mac os version of my host system see both are same iOS share at ten dot twelve dot five. Okay. So please subscribe my channel. Please like and share the video. So if you are facing any issue when you create iOS virtual machine from recovery partition using uh, files desktop, please comment below. I will help you.